Hi everyone, welcome to Gumpa TV. Hey guys. Sponsored by Hobbling Japan. Today we're going to look uh, a little bit in more depth uh, what stuff we showed you last week, including uh, the decals yes, on my decals. Raptor. It was fun. It was fun? Oh yeah. It's still a long way to go. Oh yeah. So uh, before we get on to all that, mm -hmm. let's have a look at the new stuff. New stuff. This is what everybody's waiting for, all the yep. new stuff. So we had two kids come in today. And the first one is the uh, FD version oh. of the uh, O Gundam. Yes, seven Sword, TV Double Gundam show, Seven yeah. Sword. And uh, I know they're releasing this the same month that they're releasing the Master Grade version mm. of the 007 Sword, so they can catch up on all the hype, get everybody caught up in the same month. So uh, let's have, have, a, have a look. Have a quick look here. Plenty of uh, decals and coil stickers here. Well, there's not plenty of decals compared to my plane. It's an SD, it's an SD kit. Right, you still get the clear parts here. Yep. Right, so. Not bad. For an SD kit, not at all. And uh, another take on a previous kit is the Nobel Gundam. This is actually the Berserker mode of the Nobel Gundam. It has a cape? It's a she. She has a cape? No, that's her hair. <laughs> we showed this kit uh, several months back when it was first released. This oh. is the Berserker version, which comes with slightly different coloring of the pieces. As like well, glow uh, in the dark. This this hair comes as three separate pieces. Oh. Uh, the the previous uh, version of the kit was just one. So this is supposed to splay out because it's all berserk. I is mean, it a pink. is it a weapon? It could possibly be. It's long enough, and it even comes with the same stand. Oh, cool. I mean, there's one thing that I've learned in my 37 years on the planet. Yeah, is you need to stay away from women when they, <laughs> when they enter berserker mode. <laughs> All right, and while we're talking about the G Gundam stuff, this is yeah. the G Gundam kit. Yeah. So there's the Master Gundam from G Gundam. Yeah, and it we, looks familiar. Yeah, we showed this last week. And uh, Ryan, what's that question you always ask me when you try to be funny? Sid, yeah? does it transform? Well, actually, Ryan, in the anime, the horse does transform into a pedestal for some reason. A pedestal? A pedestal. The thing you sit on? Or stand on. Why? I have no idea. But uh, the, this horse does not transform into a pedestal. That's I imagine sad. if you're very creative, you could buy an extra kit and then just make a pedestal out of the horse and see what you come up with. So that's all I got to show for that now. That makes no sense. Uh, Ryan, do you have anything you would like to show? Sid? Yes? I do have something Ryan. I want to show you. What is this? It's the 172 scale Aku Yaku number one with 20 pigs. It's the, well it's based or it's from a Miyazaki mm. manga. Yeah called Pig in a Tank, okay. which was in uh, model graphics in like the end of the 90s. Mm -hmm. um, basically, it's about a tank with pigs in it. And I want to build it. Oh, really? You're going to tackle this after you finish the Raptor? Pink from Pigs in a Tank. Do you get it? Pigs, pink, aircraft? Not at all. Okay. So uh, you know, you're lucky because uh, we have a resident tank guru in yes, Brian, and he's, yes. he's just got his own uh, section of boss builds. And, and it's a very good show. It's a very good episode. Very informative, if but, you're into armor. Uh, in this case, this, I imagine this kit does not come molded in color, so you're going to have to no. paint it. So we're going to need to bring him on, and uh, he can show you how to paint this thing. Yeah, he's a bit of a, well, he's the tank master, yeah. so that will be so, awesome. But yeah, so, that's what I'm going to do when I've finished... The plane, which should be in the next one to two weeks. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Once it's done, be sure to bring it on here. We'll oh, look. well, of course. I'm going to bring it in, and I'll give you a full rundown of my experience. Okay. Well, let's uh, put this away. Yep. And actually, uh, show us what you've done since the last time we uh, we filmed. Okay. Last time we filmed, we started to put the decals on the wing. Yes, we did, and that is the the finished job. Uh, I'll go through how I basically did it. There were two layers on this particular this particular. Uh, tail fin yeah um, first you had to put down the flowers and then put that mark setter yeah. and then sprayed it and then put on the girl it was very time consuming I think just this side and this side took me about one and a half to two hours it looks good though yeah yeah no I'm yeah. actually I'm very happy with you did it a good job it's yeah. nice and smooth now the plane I said I'd do half but I don't think I've even done one eighth because <laughs> I think on the plane there's actually going to be four levels of four layers of decals, so it's going to take forever. Um, well, first I had put on these ones here, and this was a, a, an extremely difficult because they were way too big for any decal tray. Mm -hmm. And um, getting the positioning right was particularly tough. And I don't know if you can see, but some air did get in there and 
the decal started to break slightly, mm. but it's, it's not too bad. And once I put on the other layers, I think you actually won't even notice. Maybe flat, flat coated, it might be yeah. alright too. Now, uh, did you cover the surface with water before you put the decal on? Yes, I did. Okay. Uh, but the problem with this decal, because it was so large, mm -hmm. it started to dry a little, I yeah. guess. And because uh, you have to get the positioning right, and yeah. uh, it was complicated, but I'm, I'm happy. I think also, uh, in some cases, it's the water you use that can produce these kind of mm. effects here. Like, uh, if you use a distilled water with no minerals, then you can uh, remove these kind of impurities. Mm, that's cool. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I learned that recently. I so, was also told that um, if you get really bad air bubbles, you can actually pop them with the knife and then yeah. work the mock setter over them. Yeah. But these are not that big, so no, I'm not, not too worried. Yeah. yeah. It looks good. Yeah, no, it's cool. It's and uh, yeah, I should have this finished one to two weeks. And uh, yeah. But I did enjoy it, mm -hmm. and now I think you're going to show us the PG. Perfect grade time. Yeah. All right. I've actually got a, a bunch of uh, perfect grades here. So yeah. This is the uh, Ale Strike and Sky Grasper I started building. I built the frame, and uh, as we mentioned, I did it in about a day. And uh, it might seem pretty quick, but it was a pretty long day. Yeah, I started in the morning, imagine. and I had my uh, computer running episodes of television shows while I just slogged away at it. What were you watching, Sid? I was watching The Office. Great show. That's what she said. <laughs> and uh, so this, this is my uh, second venture into the Perfect yeah. Grade line. And the first one we showed here on the show with the Strike Freedom. And the Strike Freedom frame is pretty much this frame, mm -hmm. just done in the gold. And uh, a lot of people, when I first started talking to them about Perfect Grade kits, they always say the Strike. The Strike mm -hmm. is, is the best mm -hmm. kit out there. And uh, I, I think I have come to agree with them. I mean, if you look at the, the, the first... Uh, perfect grades were the RX-782 and the Zaku. It came out like 10, 15 years ago now maybe. And uh, they're, they're big and lots of parts, but maybe they don't have the articulation mm -hmm. and stability. And uh, they got into the wing gun, which is still really, really popular simply because it's the wing. And of course you're getting monstrous pieces, but you're also getting these monstrous Whoa. wings. And because of the weight of the wings, they'll tend to droop. And a lot of people have grown a little bit... Uh, discontented with yeah. with things like this but you can't really blame Bandai because at the time they were making these they didn't have a solution which they're using now mm -hmm. with the strike free so th the solution now is actually the internal structure or well the internal structure they're using more die cast parts yeah. oh, okay. and, and okay. such so here we'll move this off the table here and now when they release the strike here's the original strike it's the same same kit here just without the backpack and the sky run. this uh, you can see it's fully articulate and it's got die cast in the joints and uh, pre-molded fingers that will bend. You can see right here. Yeah. And this has become so popular that Bandai hasn't really deviated from it. Yeah. Like uh, here's the, we'll just look quickly. Yeah. There it is, here, no, here's the weapon and all the silver parts. Here's the pre-molded hands. You can see it's much like the real grade line which is showed that they mold them on the runner and they're flexible. And uh, of course it's a really simple color scheme but this, this kit was so popular that they have used it and they made the Strike Rouge, which is essentially the same kit. We'll, we'll show this other box. This is essentially the same kit, but with a different color scheme. And then when they released this, oh, that is nice. they had the Sky Grasper. And uh, that's what they uh, released separately as well, so you can make mm -hmm. your Strike into the other strike. Own little... Yeah. Same thing. It's very solid, really poseable. Uh, some people don't go for the, the Strike Rouge so much because they like the colors of the, the white one better. But when it came time to do this one, this has got the clear parts, yeah. and uh, the clear parts, I'll show you here. One thing that needs to be mentioned about the clear parts, in a lot of cases, is that they're made from a thicker plastic than nor the normal color parts. Mm -hmm. So uh, you're not going to have as much a gate mark for the, in some cases, uh -huh. but you will have possibly have problems putting them on and then taking them off again. It's just that they're that much less flexible. So they may break easily, but uh, I'm actually enjoying like how well have they done mm. this clear armor here? It's pretty awesome, actually. Yeah. I mean, you can s slap it on. One here. day I should maybe try a. You should try everything. G. You should try, try everything, everything once. Yeah. Lots of fun. Lots of fun. Just a lot yourself. Everything the time. once. Just everything once. Try everything once. <laughs> My mom would probably not tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> but and uh, weapons, of course, it's got weapons. This is the big <laughs> Buster sword. Holy. Now don't make me angry, all right? I Sorry, we, we had an argument earlier. Yeah, yeah. Look at the size of the beam sabers. 
dun, dun, dun. It's like a real blade. Yeah. You could actually make a real blade. And, and it even comes with the uh, foldable Schneider knives, and these actually oh. go in the side armor here. And yes. will fit in his hand. And of course, wow. the shield. Oh, that's a clip shield. It's sweet. Huge. Yeah. And uh, I did choose this one because, of course, it's the 30th anniversary, yeah. and it's going to be gone soon. I mean, Bandai, they make a lot of stock, and something like this does not sell quickly, so we can get restocks in. But once it's gone, it's gone. And they're not going to be making it anymore. They might bring it back out in the 50th anniversary. But by then, they're going to be doing How a whole lot How old will you be? Stuff. I'll be dead by then. <laughs> I will be dead. Okay, well, that's it for the big stuff. I got one yeah, more thing I wanted cool. to show you today. Oh, right? yeah, you have something to show me. So. I, I have one more thing. I mean, it's, it's Is big. Is it as big as these pieces? It's big. It's, it's not as, in comparison, it's just not as big. It's not as impressive. Give, give me a second here. Oh, there it is. I did it. So that's big. It's big compared to the SDs. Look at this Kshatriya. Yeah, look at that. Scale. It's, big. it's got uh, the binders here. One thing that I found really awesome about this kit yeah. is they give you a lot of the stickers. Like uh, when you build the HG kits, they give you all these lining stickers. Well, you get that as well at the SD. You can that is cute. It is, it is cool. <laughs> I prefer actually the SD version because the head seems to be better <laughs> than the HG version. Yeah. It's awesome. <laughs> that is cool. Yeah, and you can even... Uh, Hopefully we can get a good shot of this. If you pull this out here, yeah. take off the poly cap. Sorry, my hands are pretty big here. Wow. Let's try this one. <laughs> I don't want to lost the next one. I lost a piece already. If you put it on this end, you can actually put it in this groove, mm -hmm. going this way, and actually have them come out like they do in the show. Shoots out this way. Oh. So you can store them. One of two ways, yeah. So this appears in the, the it, TV show. The Gundam you see anime. Yeah. You, it's actually, I think, one of the first suits you see okay. in the uh, very first uh, Gundam Unicorn movie, and it kicks, kicks ass. <laughs> when I first saw the Kshatriya, I thought it was big and bulky and cumbersome, but then you actually see it moving on the anime, and it, it's awesome. And the SD version, it's cute, so I can, I can dig it. Yeah, very cute. Yeah. But if that was not... Oh, you have something even more oh, impressive. There's something else down here. Yeah. No, this is actually the Lotto. Now they made they made an SD Lotto for you too, and Where they included did you find it. That? They included it in the Kshatriya. Oh, they actually uh, they have this one runner on the Kshatriya, which yeah. just gives you these dark parts, but it's fairly small. So with the rest of the runner space available, they gave you these four parts, oh. and you can make the, oh. the Lotto. So is he somehow related to? Oh, he shows up in the Gundam you see, yeah. but he's just like a grunt suit, you know, okay. troop transport type thing. There he is. Cute. Yes, yes it is. So this is all I've really got to show for uh, yeah, uh, episode 52, which is kind of like maybe. 51 yeah. and a half, 51.01. So next week, we should be showing uh, some more new Gundam, of course. Yeah, I possibly might have more of this done. Mm -hmm. Maybe look at the tank more seriously next yep. week. And um, I yeah. hope I, I will be able to show a sci-fi snap kit that mm -hmm. we have not yet shown on the show. That's with, in the works. With regards to the competition, I've replied to everyone. There's one person who hasn't gone back to me, but I'll contact you again. And by next week, I should be sending out your prizes. Mm. And so look forward to that. Yes. Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, that's it. All right. We'll see you later. See ya.